Hi, this is John from johnesberg.com on a tutorial on how to use Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2.0 shortcuts. Uh, these are the fundamentals to say the least. The first one I want to start with is we're going to jump into the program and we're going to use the F key to go to full screen. Now you can see we're in full screen and like the program said, hit F again to get back out of it. It's really just that simple. Okay, now let's say I'm working with a photograph and I'm done editing it, kind of like I am with this piece right here. Nice little uh, dragonfly. You can see I've got some interesting detail here and there. Um, and I want to give it a rating. Now, the ratings are simply the number keys, one through five. So right now it's a two, but you can tell I can set one, two, three, four, five. Or I can hit the zero and set it back to zero. But I originally had it set at two, keep it at two. And you can also color code it. Um, this is also a handy option for filtering. So six is for red, seven is for yellow, eight is for green, and nine is for blue. All right, so there's some uh, quick filter tricks. Now, if you, you can see we got panels here on the left and the right, navigator, histogram. If I wanna cycle through those, hit the tab key. Bam, they're gone, they're in, they're gone. Great, allows you to zoom in more to that photograph and pick out more detail. And just because they're both gone doesn't mean you can't come over here, hit the, hit the arrow, and bring up a side panel that you wanna work with. Okay, let's restore those. Now, let's say I just really wanna do nothing but look at my photograph. You hit Shift Tab, bam, it drops those panels. And look at that, your photograph fills your screen. Nice way to show it off to somebody. So once again, shift tab to bring them back, shift tab to bring them out. Now, I got my photograph. I want to show this to somebody. Just to make a, you know, a quick one piece presentation. Or I'm just, you know, taking a look at my, at my image and I want to see how it looks without any other distractions. I hit the L key, dims things down hit the L key again, sets everything but the image to black. And I hit the L key again, brings it back. Now here's a nice little trick. Let's say you want to be working with uh, your image, developing exposure, working with your brightness, your contrast, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. Well, if you want to still be focused on the, on the image and you don't want as much of a distraction, you can still work with everything here on the side. So let's say I want to jack up my exposure, take it to wherever I want it to be. It's all good, and as usual, I can still dial in a value there as normal. Works great. Now I'm gonna bring this back up for me. I'm going to restore my panels. And let's say, all right, I've done my, I've done my work with my image. I wanna see what the before and after is. Hit the backslash key. On this one, we're not seeing much of a difference. I was happy with it when I actually did my development work on it, you can call it good. But really, you just hit the backslash key and you can cycle bet between the before and after. Now, one last little touch. Go up here, we hit the, uh, the adjustment, br or <clears throat> the de my adjustment brush. And now I have this beautiful bullseye that I can use to select material underneath. Well, if I hit left bracket, it shrinks it, I hit right bracket, it makes it grow. That's a nice little uh, reminder there for a good shortcut on how to adjust your brush. Well, this is John from johnesberg.com, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.